You see, success is like a drug, guys. Success is more addictive than any chemical drug. No matter how low your lowest moments are, it's only temporary. Because one little hint of success and your life can change forever. For many of you, that's getting shredded for the first time. And I want to give you the best tactics and motivation to get shredded. So over the next 60 days, I'll be documenting my own Science of Abs transformation. This series is dedicated to every guy who refuses to be average and will persevere through any obstacle to reach their goal. The next time life punches you in the face and you're feeling down, I want you to spit your front tooth out at it, look it square in the face, and say, now what, bitch? Welcome to episode one of Science of Abs. Welcome to the vlog guys. All right, I'm so excited. It is day number one of the shred. I'm all sweaty. I just got back from the gym. Now it is a rite of passage before I go on any type of shred. I have one epic cheat meal the night before and then I just completely throw away whatever I ate. I get it out of the house. I ate an entire sleeve of double stuff Oreos. So I want you guys to let me know. Uh, we're gonna start this vlog off with a question. What is your favorite cheat meal or the very last cheat meal that you had? <music> Do me a favor, give this video a big like, subscribe if it's your first time on the channel. You ain't got no games. You ain't got no weights. So what you're gonna do is go to the Google machine. You're gonna type in BMI calculator. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you some results here. You're gonna scroll down. I prefer this one, bmi slash calculator.net. I'll link it in the description. What this number indicates is how many calories that you would burn if you just sat on the couch and did absolutely nothing. So you're gonna type in your height, weight, age, gender, calculate your BMR. It's gonna give you this number here in the green box, 1979.6. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna see a link down here to the Harris-Benedict equation. I got it up right here. You're gonna multiply your BMR by your activity factor. So you're gonna see different categories here. If you're very active, you multiply that by 1.725, 1.55. So this is gonna give you your maintenance calories. So whatever your activity level is, multiply it by the BMR, let's just say it's 1.55. You're gonna take that 1979 times 1.55. All right guys, let's see exactly where my physique is right now on day one and day two. So over here, we're gonna throw day one. Over here, let's throw day two. Now, the reason that my physique looks so much different on day one and day two, I actually had a pretty crazy 24 hour transformation. I posted about it on Instagram. I had a lot of sodium right before the, the first picture. And the second picture was basically after a full perfect day of eating, lots of water, uh, very low sodium, clean protein. And as you can see, the difference in the two physiques can be really dramatic just through sodium. So. Don't get frustrated from the day-to-day -day changes in your physique. Just stay consistent and realize that water, sodium, all these things can manipulate your physique day-to-day. -day. So since we're prioritizing leg training for the 60-day shredding series, Kitty Gaines is going to be joining us a lot more on the channel. I am? Yeah, you are. <laughs> And uh, she's actually doing a 60 day booty transformation. This is for documentation purposes. We got Hulk meowing in the background. I've been moving kind of no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. and cuddle. All right, this is one that so many guys are not following. 99% of guys, I guarantee you, including myself in the past, have not followed this rule. Now, I want you to guess right now what the largest muscle group in the human body is. So guess down below, don't cheat, don't skip ahead, guess down below in the comments, and I really think less than 10% of people are gonna guess this right. Now, two of the four largest muscle groups in the body. Now, first of all, the largest muscle group in the human body is the gluteus muscle. That's right, the booty muscle is the largest muscle group in the human body. Um, 
three of the five largest muscle groups in your body. Glutes are number one, and then hamstrings and quads are also in the top five. Now, the two muscle groups that most people really neglect are the glutes and the hamstrings. Now, I think this is truly the X factor. If you can do like two to three times more volume, direct work on your quads and your hamstrings, you can really accelerate fat loss because you're gonna spike your hormones like testosterone, human growth hormone, your post-workout resting metabolism. By working out larger muscle groups, it's gonna elicit a more powerful hormonal response. You're gonna burn a ton more calories in the process. Like if you're doing stiff like deadlifts versus doing just like dumbbell bicep curls, the amount of calories that you're burning over the course of like 10 sets is a pretty big difference on top of the post-workout resting metabolism. So the number one thing that you can do is start increasing the volume of your glutes and your hamstrings. Now, even if you don't care what your legs look like, by putting on more muscle mass in your lower body, you're boosting your resting metabolism. By training a largest, by training the largest muscle group in the human body, you're burning more calories and boosting that metabolism. When you enter a caloric deficit, it is so crucial that you increase your workout intensity. Your body is an adaptation machine. It doesn't want to grow. It doesn't want to transform. you got to shock your body with new advanced training techniques. Now, there are six ones I want to cover real quickly. Make sure you guys take some notes and incorporate these right away. Number one is the pre-fatigue mechanism. Now, this is doing strategic weighted abdominal movements before your compound lifts and through other weight room movements. Now, instead of just putzing around and doing absolutely nothing before your sets and in between your sets, like for instance, you're doing the dumbbell bench, dumbbell pullover, like you see in this clip, um, you usually rest two minutes. Work out your abs through strategic ab movements instead of resting. Now, the second one is devil sets. Devil sets mean six sets, six reps, 60 second rest time, and most importantly, going down for three seconds on the eccentric, on the lowering portion of the rep. So by going down for three seconds and going heavy, you're maximizing the muscle damage, which is a very important phase for muscle growth. It's going to help you guys pack on gains, or at least at the very worst, preserve your lean mass on a shred. Number three is drop sets. Now you can get really creative with this. You can go all the way down to like four or five drops. I love doing it on machines like the lat pull down, for instance, starting off heavy for, you know, eight to 10 reps, dropping the weight 20%, doing another 10 reps, dropping the weight and so forth. So drop sets are a really strategic way to maximize the intensity. Number four are supersets. Now you can do this with um, opposing muscle groups or the same muscle group. So I really liked, um, recently I started doing a superset where I would go um, weighted pull-ups or regular body weight pull-ups. And then I would do a superset with assisted pull-ups on the assisted pull-up machine. Absolutely brutal back workout. Or you can do opposing muscle group supersets like doing push-pull or quads hamstrings. The sky is the limit. Number five, good old-fashioned progressive overload lifting heavy. You have got to lift heavy in a caloric deficit. If you're not going to lose strength, you're almost certain not going to lose muscle mass. So it becomes really important that you lift heavy and focus on progressive overload. Actually track your list with a workout journal. Number six is FST7. Now I covered FST7 in my last chess video. I'll link that in the description below. FST stands for fascial stretch training. Um, seven sets in the 10 to 12 rep range, 45 second rest between sets and actually stretching and tensing the muscle between sets. Now you might be watching this, you might be thinking, I've tried a bunch of other stuff in the past and I've never been able to get ripped. But guess what? If you've never tried intense compound exercises for eight straight weeks with running sprints, you have no idea how shredded you can get and how fast it can happen for you. There is absolutely nothing better for preserving lean muscle mass, boosting your human growth hormone, your metabolism, your testosterone levels. There's a reason why if you look at a picture of a marathon runner over here and a sprinter over here, sprinters are so incredibly shredded, not even the Olympic sprinters, but even the division two sprinters, if you notice their physiques, they're really lean, they're really shredded. Now, the beauty of running sprints is you only need to do it two times per week. Uh, the easiest workout that you can do is simply running eight to 10 sprint intervals for 10 to 15 seconds, resting 30 seconds and repeating. The workout takes about 15, 20 minutes and it is absolutely incredible.
welcome to day number two on Signs of Abs. Now this is not necessarily normal behavior, but we definitely don't give a f um, We're taking our cat to Starbucks right now, getting a little bit of uh, coffee. Across right here. Hold on. That, buddy? Hold on now. No, no, six no, seconds. We'll wait, we'll wait. Okay, so we had the uh, morning smoothie and we're about to get a bagel and some coffee. It's Saturday morning. We're gonna crush a quadriceps and biceps workout. My favorite workout of all time, hitting legs and hitting biceps. Last meal of the night, this is so good. We got some fresh pineapple, and some tilapia pan fry, get that pineapple juice in there. Now, staying shredded with a life is the motto of the series. I want this series to be fun and show you guys how to stay in shape without having a lifestyle like an IFBB pro where you can't go on vacation, you can't go anywhere, you can't go out to eat. Now, the reason that we track our macros, I highly recommend you guys buy one of these. 50 cents, Target or Walmart. Track your macros. It is allows you to eat whatever you want. So let's say for instance, um, you know, yesterday, it was eight o'clock at night. I know I'm at 1700 calories. At 2500 calories, I'm still at a 500 calorie deficit. I can have 400 calories of Oreos and still be in a caloric deficit. So I recommend you guys follow the 80-20 rule. So if you go out to eat, you don't have to like have grilled chicken and broccoli and some really boring meal. Um, track your macros. It's gonna allow you guys to eat whatever you want. Apply the 80-20 principle and you guys are gonna stay shredded with a life. All right guys, so I got something really exciting. We just released Science of Abs 2.0 a couple weeks ago. I'll be honest, you could watch all the videos on this channel. You could watch the Science of Abs shredding series for the next 60 days and you will get absolutely shredded for free. Now, the reason why you're gonna have better success following a program is actually committing to something and having a structured plan of attack is of course gonna give you better results than just trying to piece it together through a bunch of random videos. So I'm actually, I wanna show you guys inside the members area. So here we are inside the members area. Now it is a really complete program. We got it separated here, the shredding diet stuff, really high quality, um, including how to use refeed days. Very important on any shredding diet to maintain your lean muscle mass, how to calculate your shredding macros, full day of eating on a non-training day and training day. We got the grocery store cheat list. Uh, workout program overview. We got the dynamic stretching. So the workout videos, it's an eight week program and the workouts are separated by ab shredder workouts, which is high intensity interval training and ab training and anabolic abdominals, which is a lot of weighted abdominal work and compound exercises. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, then of course the workouts get more intense in weeks five through eight. We got trackable training logs, progress tracker, and not to mention the abdominal exercise library. All right guys, that is a wrap on episode one. So make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and we got episode two coming to you in two days. I'm gonna do three videos a week on the 60 day shredding series. Thank you guys, see you on the next video. Troy, you ain't got no games. You ain't with no weights. <laughs>